In God's word, Christians are called to submit to government authorities. You say, where'd you get that, Dan? <laughs> I said, that's in the book of Romans, Romans chapter 13, verse 1. It says in the Bible, everyone must submit to governing authorities, for all authority comes from God. This is in the text. And those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. Now, I realize, <laughs> I know, there are Christians who are not too happy about that passage of Scripture, uh, but I heard that they took it to a vote, and it didn't change God's mind after all. So, <laughs> there we have it. However, now keep this in mind too, within the larger context of Scripture, followers of Jesus understand that our ultimate allegiance is always, first and foremost, to God. Of course, God is the highest authority, of course. In fact, the only way to deny the ultimate authority of God is if you just don't even believe God exists. That would be the only way to do that. So, if submitting to the governing authorities would require us to disobey God, in that case then, we do not submit to the governing authorities. Here, put it this way. If there's a conflict between obeying the government on the one hand or obeying God on the other, we hope and pray this does not happen. Hopefully this never happens, but if it does, then the right response is to obey God. That makes sense, right? You see, in the end, we will stand before God someday. God. We will be accountable to him and no other.